Hello everyone, hope you found doing great. Welcome to the Elastic channel. If you're new here, welcome and I'm so happy to see you all once again. Today we're going to discuss about one of the very dangerous, very profound ransomware, which is called Black Cat Ransomware. This is the most recent ransomware that we are a witness, especially Germany and some sites, they are more a witness for these kind of attacks because I have noticed I read an article, I mean, almost about 100 gas station collapse because of this uh, ransomware which is called black cat ransomware as you look at on the top it is also ransomware as a services guys it is if you heard about the platform as a services software as a services and we have an infrastructure as a services on promises and this is also very profound remember that the reason that we mentioned in here as a ransomware as a services mean it is available it's going to be it's expandable it is going to be expand if you didn't take care of this kind of attack or this kind of activity in our in our organization or company it's going to be expand and expand and so that's impact in our clients can be as well beside that regardless of this it, it happened in our uh, company as well how does black cat ransomware work black cat use the trouble intrusion remember that black cat use the trouble extrusion technique it's a unique technique which is where the uh, the attacker first take a copy of the victim's data and then encrypt the data on the victim machine so if you have a computer so once it's attacked in your computer encrypt your data almost the way that our traditional ransomware we have it's directly target our mfp main file table and encrypt the entire file so now they're using some other mechanism with the black hat ransomware the attackers well then either threaten to destroy the encryption keys i mean to destroy the encryption keys means you're, you're gone you don't have that file anymore or they are they are disclosing that data to the public and manually we can say launch a distribution denial of service as well so it's they're using money they, they use this attack for multi-purpose either they destroy your data other they disclose your data other they ask for money or they run DDoS distributed denial of services attack if the victim refuse to pay the ransom if they are not paying then they will do some some this kind of nasty activity an important difference between black cat and other strain of ransomware i need your attention in here it is that black cat is written in the rust guys look at the icon this is the icon of the rust programming language it built in the rust programming language it is almost common line interface it is not graphic user interface it's almost common line interface but what is this well we can say we will likely see an increase in the rust based malware as a rust as fast remember it's as fast secure as stable and we can say allows for better memory and management there you go it is good for memory and management so that is why those hacker are using this kind of application as you mentioned as as you notice in here it is not only windows operating system and it is also we can say linux based system as well either they can run in a linux operating system or they can run in the we can say windows operating system so there is an example of how they want to attack and explore or we can say execution and explosion happen while they are doing so the first thing if you notice that the hacker is running initial access via the exposed remote access method or we can say rtp remote desktop they send a file to the one of our client or one of our customer or whoever work in our company if you look at if you do follow the blue line you can see it kills windows defender process at .xc so once it attack for example after router when they get inside our network you will see that there is a lot of things they have done they, they clean the ens atp and block the malicious use of uh, uh, these these files and after that once they got inside our operating system for example windows or microsoft they are uh, killing windows defender process windows windows defender is one of the most known antivirus it's kind of antivirus in our operating system especially in microsoft so they stop that kind of things one day shut down 
or take most of the responsibility of your operating system services then they can use as a restricted remote admin so remember that they for example of course if you have admin user they use your admin user for accessing other stuff as well when you see in here at the middle uh, t1486 data encryption they will do the encryption as well and meanwhile they're using vss admin to delete the shadow copies so there's no copies i mean if you think hey i do have a copy of this one it's not they will do and they will block the shadow copies as well so when you see that in here they block the uh, rtp or resolution protocol this is all the stuff and they have the full control of your computer and meanwhile they are using your credential for the other purpose as well this is very profound that i took it from one of the very valuable website and here is the important things that i'm going to share with all of you and i need your attention as well in here in order to mitigate in order to reduce the amount of this kind of attack first you have to do what use threat intelligence to adapt control asset defense and what identify ioc relationship so this is the first thing that you have to do you have to make sure that you have the full control of your devices and you have the admin control if you have the admin control you have to make sure that and remember that who has the most powerful permission or privilege in your in your company the second is monitor for use of a stolen credential or uh, we can say anomalous access across application ue ueba ueba stand for user and entity behavior uh, analytical remember that so you can use that one so if you have a fortinet firewall if you have a palto firewall if you have a checkpoint firewall this firewall does come with the ueba uh, so make sure that you have to turn that one on in order to make sure that there is there's no dub duplicate signature with the same address and manual you have to have uh, we can say have behavior detection and protection capability for the anti malware turn on watch those exclusions so this is a kind of inclusion uh, intrusion detection and intrusion prevention if you guys are familiar with this kind of application you have to use this kind of software as a hardware and software as well so i noticed that uh, now the trend micro uh, was a kind of antivirus company i think semantic is also kind of uh, semantic is an antivirus company if you install the endpoint user computer those antivirus is protect and prevent and stop and block this kind of activity in your computer so these are the important things that you should keep in your mind the other thing is you have to enable dlp control on endpoint to the prevent data what exploration so what is it dlps stand for data loss prevention remember that this is stand for data loss prevention It's a kind of we can say is a cyber uh, security solution that detect and prevent data breaches so of course it is a duty of the firewall and meanwhile for antivirus as well if you will to purchase malware antivirus and so on so that's good but nowadays most of the antivirus does come with these features as well have an effective backup strategy that ensure the backup or inaccessible from the endpoint this is very important things guys if you have a file server dfs server distributed file system or uh rdfs or so on any types of files or ftp server if you have this is uh, important things i mean uh when i share when i save my file in the share drive so as an endpoint user i should not know where is my backup system so only system admin should know where is the backup system system engineer system architect they should know where the backup system is because if that's leaked for the user for example if you have noticed some and some help this guys coming and set up something and they open the session and close and so on because the problem is when the hacker got inside our computer they will expand they will do the research everything including the shared drive what we have access what is what permission we have and so on with running a simple script they will find out the all information monitor use default windows admin shares so default admin shares if you remember guys it's very important we are uh, for example if you open your windows 
for example if you go to run uh, forward slash uh, run yeah forward slash c drive and put the dollar sign and you will see that some of the default stuff is shared through your computer so you have to disable those kind of things in your computer in order to not uh, be a victim of this kind of activity the last but not least we can say use edr to scope and pack and prevalence of the inductors edr is a stand for endpoint detection and response this is also we can say trend micro signal uh, trend micro uh, uh, semantic uh, uh, 14 net firewall, uh, Palo Alto firewall, the most recent checkpoint firewall, they have this kind of feature as well. But you have to make sure that uh, try to prevent, uh, keep your windows up to date. And there are some other stuff also, I don't want to eat up your time, so I will definitely put out um, under the, put the description under um, uh, this lecture. You can go ahead and watch the full video of this one, and it is like how to prevent against black. Uh, or can say uh, black cats run somewhere attack so uh, i will definitely share that one in the command line below go ahead and join that class i have a class on udemy run somewhere from a to z it is free you don't have to pay anything you just register and get that class and i'm sure you will never regret and i have shared a lot of profound and uh, more valuable information through that lecture as well okay guys until next time stay safe be brave and of course see you guys next time